All right, let's uh, talk to Natasha about another warm and humid day. Another warm day for us. You know, here's a question. Do you know what the all-time high is for the month of August in Portland? Any guesses? Here, let me give you some options. Okay. You ready? I'm ready. Okay, quiz time. Your options are 500 Kelvin, uh, Liz knows, 107 degrees or 110 degrees. Any guesses out there? Well, we know what I answer, which would be B. But that means that's a multi-tiered answer for me. Dan, what are you guessing? I'm going to pick C, 107. 107. Right. You are correct, sir. Yes, yes, You yes. win a prize. When was that? That was in 1981. <laughs> it was August 10th. So if you're at home playing along, congratulations if you got the answer right. <laughs> so will we get up to 107 in this forecast? Well, we are talking about a heat up next week. We'll get to that in just a moment. Here's your view right now from the Dalles. Uh, staying hot and hazy for sure today. Air quality alerts in place and a chance to see some rain and cooler temperatures on the way. When will that happen? Well, I'll answer that in just a moment. Air quality right now ranges from good to moderate just outside of Portland down into Wilsonville. And then you can see clearly air quality takes a dive on healthy category right around the Boot Lake fire and then heading up towards eastern Washington. Some improvements compared to yesterday where air quality is now in the moderate category instead of unhealthy. So we're tapping into wildfire smoke from California adding it onto our own smoke. So when we look at the winds aloft coming up from the south, that's why we have some of the worst air quality right now, right around Medford and down into Klamath Falls. Now look at how all of that moves on out as soon as we get to Friday morning. So what's happening is our wind direction is changing. Instead of out of the south, it'll be out of the west northwest, which will give us huge improvements in how things look and also how things feel. We get uh, take a look at our winds at the surface. Same thing for us. Winds will be mostly coming from the west northwest, pushing all that wildfire smoke off to the east. Now, if you're still east of the Cascades, you will continue to see smoke, hazy skies and possibly some poor air quality. But west of the Cascades, you'll see some big improvements. Current conditions here in Portland, 93. That puts us well above normal, normal being 84. Wind is out of the northwest at 8 miles per hour. Temperatures tonight, and it's going to take a while before we start to cool down. In fact, by 10 o'clock, we're likely still at 80 degrees with clear skies. Here's your planner for tomorrow. Partly cloudy to start off the day. 66 by the middle of the day. We're up to 75. Uh, tomorrow, your uh, daytime high will be closer to about 84 earlier in the afternoon. By the late evening hours, temperatures will be down into the low 80s and then eventually the upper 70s. But take a look at the seven day forecast. There's a lot going on here. So starting tomorrow night, we could see a few sprinkles late and I'm talking about closer to almost midnight. Your daytime high tomorrow right around 86. So cool by comparison to today. Overnight temperatures mid 60s. Then we get to Friday. Friday, that's our day with a chance of rain. Most of that happening in the morning, but look at your daytime high, only 78. Saturday, we're at 79. A slight chance we could have a quick sprinkle come through late Saturday night through Sunday morning, but Sunday afternoon right now is looking pretty good. But check this out, 76. That puts us almost 10 degrees below normal for this time of year. Don't get used to it, though, because we get to Monday and Tuesday. Look at the transition we have to go through. Monday is high 83. Tuesday, we jump up to 93. Mm. Wednesday, we jump up to the upper 90s. So will we hit that 107, the all-time high for August in Portland? Not through Wednesday, but we're carefully watching what happens for us next Thursday and Friday as the heat will likely be with us at least for seven to possibly 10 days. Yeah, look at that 22 degree difference. My goodness. Thanks, Natasha. Mm -hmm.